Hi, I'm James and in today's Coach's Corner we're going to go through some of the progressions I use when training someone for their first chin-up or pull-up. The first step is to build general strength on a variety of different pulling exercises to build strength in the lats, the rhomboids, the traps, the posterior deltoids and the bicep muscles. And here we're going to use a variety of horizontal and vertical pulling exercises and I recommend three sets of 6 to 12 reps on each exercise. Okay, step two is to build some specific strength uh, using band assistance. So there's many different ways of setting up the bands, but the method I like is to set the bands around the liftoffs, and that way we can adjust the height of the bands to give you more or less help. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to set up in a chin-up grip, so palms facing in. He's then going to step onto the bands, pull up nice and tall at the top, thinking about pulling his chest towards the bar, nice big reach till his arms are fully extended, and return. And what we're going to aim for here is three sets of five to ten reps. So you want to use a level of band assistance that allows you to get anywhere from five to ten reps. When you can get all ten reps, then you're going to make it more challenging by either adjusting the height of the band, so moving the band position lower, or using a thinner band. Step three is to perform some negative reps. So with these, we're going to form the eccentric only or the lowering portion only of the repetition. So you're going to set up with a nice high box You can start just above, try and avoid too much swinging and slowly lower yourself down, aiming for a five to eight second lower. When you get to the bottom, you step on the floor, step back on the box, start from the top again, again, brace the abdominals, slowly lowering over five to eight seconds. And here, we're going to aim for three to six reps of a five to eight second eccentric. So some people will be able to go straight from the negatives into the full chin-ups, but if you're struggling, there is an intermediary step we use, which is again to start from the top, just like we do with the negatives, lower yourself as low as you comfortably can until you can pull back up, pull back up for one rep, and then perform a nice slow negative after that. Great job. And the final step are full chin-ups from the floor with a nice big reach down, fully extending the elbow in the bottom position. Now the reason we use uh, chin-ups as a teaching progression is that for most people chin-ups are slightly easier than pull-ups with an overhand grip. So once you can do a good few number of chin-ups, you can work on progressing to a pull-up, which is a slightly harder variation. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.